Well, it's been such a hot debate. The launch of the 300 series in Australia has had the internet blowing up. Is it better than the 200 series? Is it just a basic update? We spent a lot of time in the new model, and so far, I've been very impressed with it. But what we really wanted to do was see how they perform with a bit of modifications. We've got our hands on a 200 series and a 300 series Land Cruiser, both with a bit of kit on them, including aftermarket suspension. That's because we borrowed them from Simon, the tech guru at Tough Dog Suspension. We're out here today to put them through their paces and see just how good the 300 series is and if it's better than the old 200. All right, Simon, I really appreciate your time here and your wealth of knowledge on these platforms. Can I grab the keys because I want to go and get these things dirty? Absolutely, Evan. Look, the one thing I think is important that we acknowledge straight up is yep. that the 200 is set up as a tourer, steel bar, winch. The 300 has only entered the fleet. It's been with us for about six months now. Okay. Yep. So apart from the rack and the light force light, she's a pretty plain Jane. Right. The spring rates in the 200 are ideal for that setup and the spring rates in the 300 are ideal for that setup. All right, so a little bit different setup, but yep. we're still comparing apples with apples here because they have set up for the weight. Yeah. It's one of the biggest questions I've got for you straight off. 200, 300, from a developmental point of view, yep. what's the main difference? Look, if you took both cars out of the showroom and placed them side by side, yep. the first noticeable difference is that 300 isn't as nose down as what the 200 was. Right, that's really interesting. Yeah, so I mean, the difference between the two was 30 mil basically. So the way the aftermarket responded to that, Evan, was that we tended to only raise the front 40 mil on the 200 right. and the back 20 mil, as we're, what we're seeing now in the 300 is we're kind of lifting the nose a little higher again. Okay. So in this particular vehicle here, we've shot for the 50 mil lift in the front right. and the 35 mil lift in the rear. One of the things that Toyota have mainly concentrated on, Evan, is softening up the suspension. By making the shock absorber one inch longer than yep. the previous Model 200, okay. that's about two inches at the wheel. So it's a two to one ratio. Big increase, and you could get a bit more oil in the shock than I imagine too. Big increase, it's a longer shock. The vehicle has more droop in the standard geometry. Perfect. And then we've come along and made that shock a touch longer again. Wow. Another thing Toyota have done is they've softened up the coil spring rate okay. and the valving rate. With the rear axle, yep. they've taken the shock absorber and mounted the shock absorber outwards of the chassis rail. Right, okay. Which is completely different from the previous 200 running on the inside, inside. of the chassis yeah. rail. Yeah, so there's a lot of re-engineering there. A huge amount of change. Wow. And I can tell you, over a corrugated road, the way the vehicle deals with corrugations is way better than a 200 series Land Cruiser. With the rear sway bar, yep. we've actually lowered the sway bar link and there's no lag because the sway bar is not quite sitting in the correct orientation. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of people don't, don't really think about that sort of stuff. That's the party end out the back out of the way. Let's go to the front and look at the business end. Can yep. you run me through some of the design changes or any differences with the front end of the 300 yep. series? When you're looking at the front end of a 200 in comparison to a 300, yep. in look, they are the same looking geometry. However, what you will notice straight up is that the 200, the strut used to fit into a clevis into the control arm. Yep. It's where in the 300, the strut's now sitting forward of the control arm. Right. But for those that are wanting a touch more caster, yep. maybe they're towing a van behind them and they're finding the car to be a little underdone in the caster. Yep. Okay. We're at prototype stage with the 300 still. Okay. We'll have something in the next, say, three months that will correct the caster again the standard Toyota arm is fine at 40 and 50 okay. mil. Yep, good to know. But if you are towing, the, the, the extra caster doesn't go astray. So Evan, one of the other interesting things that we're seeing with the 300 is 300 GVM is set at somewhere around 3280, depending on the variant, but it's about 3280. Okay, yep. Keeping in mind it is a lighter vehicle Definitely. than yep. the 200. Yep. And what we are going to be doing with the 300 is we'll be re-rating the axles front and rear. Wow. So okay. we'll be doing some FEA testing over the course of the next couple of weeks. Right. Okay. We haven't set a target yet for the GVM, but we're thinking it will be north of around about 38, 3900. That's a really good increase there, yeah. That's, yeah, that's look, great. If we push it out by about another 700 kilos. I mean, at the end of the day, the vehicle still needs to be safe. For sure, um, We need to be compliant with all the ADRs, brake testing. I think it's a really good thing that you're doing a GVM upgrade kit for the 300 series, because as you know, people are going to accessorize them. People yeah. are going to take them on adventures. They're going to hitch up caravans, load the family up put the bull bars and all that sort of gear on it. Yeah. So having this margin, absolutely crucial for Aussie four-wheel drivers. That's and right. look, at the end of the day, mate, it's literally the car of the decade. 
Huge call. Absolutely, but I think you'll find the numbers won't won't lie. I mean, we, we have to agree, we voted it the four wheel drive of the year recently, so. Yeah, very, very capable motor car. Absolutely agree. All right, let's go get them dirty. Let's go. All right. All right, well, here we go, Evan. Yes, we're behind the, the wheel of the 200. The mighty 200, it's, mate. It's been a little while since I've driven one of them. Yep. What are your thoughts, mate? I mean... Well, it's, um, is progressive the right word? It's, yeah, yeah. It's sort of, it hits a little bit firm. Yeah. You, know, you don't bite the back of your mouth. No. So and like, look, to be fair, this, this isn't running the genuine Toyota suspension any longer. For sure. And we've sprung the vehicle accordingly. I mean, we've got a bar and a exactly. winch. Exactly, bar, sliders, things like that. Yep, yep. So we've pulled the spring rate up a touch. Um, but it's pretty balanced, mate, isn't it? It is. We just hit that wash out yeah. there pretty hard. Yeah. And you don't get bucked around. No, like I'm a it's... prime candidate because yeah. I've got a really bad back. Yeah, yeah. So even though it's got have a lot more weight than the 300, yeah, it handles really well. Yeah. You can see why these things are so popular. 100%. Because it's it is like a an armchair. I personally like the 300 series more. I think it's just, it's an evolution. But I mean, isn't it just great though, that we've got so many options. Totally. You know, the, the, the four wheel drive industry is just thriving on it's great brilliant. vehicles. I reckon we jump out of this and check out the 300. Let's do it, mate. It'll, oh, be, okay. it'll be interesting. It will be very interesting. I'm Let's super keen. Let's give it a go. It's the pivotal moment because this is the first modified 300 I've ever driven. So yep. I've driven yep. plenty of 300 so far. Very impressed. Yep. I'm happy to spruik this as an improvement on the 200 series. Definitely. But I'm going to go hit some dirt now and yep. see how it feels with the suspension because yep. I was very impressed with the factory gear, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's, look, it's soft, but yep. it does the job. It rides really well, especially in the Outback. Yeah. Toyota have made so many changes right. from the 200. You can feel the car's got better traction. Absolutely. It, more travel. Absolutely. More yeah. wheel travel. Um, it's absorbing all these square edges on the road just through here on these where, where the rock sections oh, are. Here. Like that, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good, right? <laughs> but it's not bottoming me out or anything like that. No, nice. it's... there's plenty of suspension there. When we test drove the vehicle for the first time, yeah. we were just so excited because we thought, awesome. wow, how good is this car? Well, it is right. It's probably one of the best out-of-the-box vehicles we'd ever driven. I agree, and you know, Toyota's not paying us here. We're not, no, we're not, not at all. on the books, despite what the internet yeah. seems to think. No, um, no, not at all. Yeah, we, again, we crowned this full drive of the year, and yeah. that was over 11 days of testing, private facilities, back-to-back -back testing, through yeah. the outback, through the desert. Yeah. It doesn't get any more real than that. No. I, I know you've done similar testing too. It, it's doing a great <laughs> job, right? It's, I think I've had this goofy smile on my face all day because, again, I've driven the stock ones yeah. and liked it. Yeah. But this is better. Yeah. This is great. This is so cool. Yeah. It really puts in perspective when people say built for Australian conditions. Exactly. It's, it's yeah. very few countries have to put up with the extremes we do. Absolutely, mate. We'll get away from the, the muddy stuff and the twisty stuff. We want to see how the 300 drives on corrugation. This is quite crazy. <laughs> It slowed the car down. Yeah, absolutely. But we didn't even feel it. No, look, it was pretty good inside the cabin, right? <laughs> That's awesome. And look, the, the, the secret in that is just trying to stage the shock absorber. Right. So that it is able to deal with those high speed movements in the shock absorber without creating a, a harsh ride. Okay, yep. So that transition from slow speed to high speed within the shock, that's where the science is. Incredible. So the idea here is, is to get the biggest reservoir we can. At the end of the day, a shock absorber is a heater conductor. For sure, yep. So it needs to disperse heat through the material, right. being, being the metal casing. I'm so keen to drive this car yep. and to drive it on home turf because this is both of our backyards. Absolutely, it is. Look yep. at this goofy smile on my face because no, we're hitting bumps way too fast. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you so much for letting me have a burn in the, uh, the 300 series, but I would love for you to, to take me for a spin in it. It's your car, it's your company car. Yep. I don't want to damage it. I yep. reckon you can push this a bit harder than I can. Sure thing, mate. All right, put it in park, let's swap over. Let's do it. All right, Evan. I think we make this a little more interesting. Okay, this we're, is getting weird, what's happening? Well, mate, we've been talking about how compliant the 300 series is. Yeah. How about we just put it to the test? <laughs> I'm pretty thirsty, mate. <laughs> put a stitch up. How about you just hold that for a couple uh, of minutes, eh? Thank you. And we'll just see how compliant the 300 actually is, eh? Oh, I mean, man. we can't just keep saying how, how well this thing rides no, and it's exactly. so compliant I'll, and I'll try and get all, of this, shot then. all of this development. I mean, 
if we if we're gonna do this, we're, we've got to get it on we've film. We've got to get it so. on film, right? All right, I'm gonna try and hold my arm. Right. Two, two hands. Oh, it's doing pretty well. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> you did it now we're looking there, mate. <laughs> Hang on to it. <laughs> All right. We get paid to do this. Wow. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Have you got it? Did I get you? <laughs> look out! That was the corner. I didn't, look. I didn't anticipate that. And what have we got? Have we got near enough to a full cup, surely? We've, we've lost a bit on the we've leg here, a bit, on the, bit leg. on the pants, a bit on the console, but very small amount. Well, that's a bit of fun. Not bad. Still plenty of water left. There you go. Well, it's certainly been a big day, a really exciting day, because for me personally, I got to drive a modified 300 series. And thanks again for your time and bringing these vehicles out for us to play. There's certainly a lot more to this vehicle than just a basic update though. The 300 is a really big step forward for yeah. Australian full drivers. Yeah, look, it's not just a facelift or a new set of tail lights. You'd have to say that Toyota have done an amazing job and taking the 200 series and perfecting it. And look, you know, you've had the chance to drive them both today. Yep. And you'd have to agree that the 300 is certainly absorbing and taking the impacts a lot better. And just Sorry. Just the human degradation on your body, like jumping out of this thing, you feel as fresh as a daisy, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. So look, good, good on Toyota, and, and it was an absolute pleasure to work on this thing. I mean, as we've been saying all along, you know, it's possibly the car of the decade. People want to know about it. Probably the best Land Cruiser. I think so too. All right, well, it's been such a great day. I think we'll look forward to doing it in another, say, 10, 14 years or something like that. I'll see you back here, Evan. Done. Well, thanks again for your time. And thanks for watching, guys.